Apple Incorporated on Monday said that it would switch to its own chips for its Mac computers, saying that the first machines will ship this year and ending a nearly 15-year reliance on Intel Corporation to supply processors for their flagship laptops and desktop computers. Now it's time for a huge leap forward for the Mac. Because today is the day we're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. Apple Chief Executive Tim Cook said that it marked the beginning of a new era for a product line that powered the company's rise in the 1980s and its resurgence in the late 1990s. Cook said, quote, Silicon is at the heart of our hardware, during a virtual keynote address recorded at the company's Cupertino, California headquarters for its annual developer conference. The Silicon switch brings the Mac into line with the company's iPhone and iPads, which already use Apple-designed chips. Cook said that Apple expects the Mac transition to take about two years and that Apple still has some Intel-based computers in its pipeline that it will support for, quote, many years. But the move will give software developers for Apple's largest pool of third-party apps, those built for iPhones and iPads, new access to laptops and desktops for the first time. Apple software chief Craig Federighi said that for these offerings, quote, most apps will just work with no changes from the developer on the new Macs. He also said that, quote, the vast majority of the existing apps for Intel-based machines can be modified to work in, quote, just a few days. However, analysts said that Intel will likely continue to supply Apple with data center chips that power services such as iCloud. In a statement, Intel said Apple remained a customer, quote, across several areas of business and that it was still focused on the PC market. Meanwhile, the company also revealed that it will be adding widgets to iOS 14 in its latest update to the operating system used in the iPhone. iOS 14 widgets will be made available through what's called a widget gallery similar to what's available on Android. Users will be able to choose from three sizes depending on how prominent they'd want a widget to be. The new software will also make it easier to organize applications.